this is an attempt to uh, get the particulates to come out of uh, the vinegar. Before when I used uh, was it a teaspoon per gallon? Yeah, it was a teaspoon per gallon. Well, yeah, it was a it uh, no uh, particulates came out. So we're gonna try another. No, I think it was a half a teaspoon per gallon. Sorry. So we're gonna try another half a teaspoon. Stir it and see if we can get it to do anything. Didn't want to mix too well. Now we'll let that sit and see what we get. <clears throat> All right, still no particulate, so we're going to add another half a teaspoon per gallon. This will make Unless I'm mistaken. One and three quarter tablespoons. And I know a little dog's gonna get beaten if she doesn't quit barking at the neighbors. Metaphorically speaking, of course. <laughs> so, come back and check on that in about five minutes, see what we got. I have yet to see any particulate in any form or in any significant amount in this vinegar. So, we're going to try another half a teaspoon, see what we get. I'll go back and add up how many, how much this actually takes. I've lost track. <laughs> but so far, it seems that I haven't even neutralized the acid in the vinegar, which is probably what I need to do in order to get the particulate to come out. back in a few minutes. So it's been sitting a few minutes and still no significant amount of particulate. So we're going to add another half a teaspoon, see what we get. sometime in the next tablespoons worth the acid will neutralize it'll go to a more of a base pH and then we'll begin to see particulates all of the other samples had high pH not low pH like this So, one more look. Still don't have anything precipitating. So, we're going to try it one more time. Well, I'm going to actually keep after it until it actually does something. Another half a teaspoon. Get you stirred in. Check back in a few minutes and see what we got. 
At this point, I'm beginning to wonder if I have to dump the whole bucket of lime in there. Hope not, because then I get what I would think is paste. Well, we're going to try another quarter of a teaspoon. Excuse me, that would be half a teaspoon. At some point, I'm expecting to see the gunk that's in suspension fall out of suspension. I know I've been saying that for about half an hour. It feels like it's been a half an hour. So, check back in a few minutes. Still no love. Well, we're going to put in another half a teaspoon worth. It'd help if I get it all in the jar. At some point, I need to see particulates. So, check back in a few minutes. Nice. You do not belong. In the line. Probably gonna die. So, still no love. So we're gonna add another half a teaspoon worth. Like I said, I have to go back and count these up. I've lost track. It may be that I have to have four to six tablespoons of lime just to neutralize the acid. So, we'll check back. Well, this exercise is getting a little old to me, but I want to see it through. We're going to add another half a teaspoon worth. Eventually, I'm going to see particulate. If I don't, well, I guess it'll turn into a block of cement. I don't know. <laughs> We'll check back in a little bit, see what we got. Okay, give her one more go. Or I should say, yet another go. Eh, for you Brits out there, it has nothing to do with sex. So. Or was that have a go? Give it a go, have a go? I don't know. Somebody will tell me eventually. Okay, check back shortly. Well, that took long enough. Had to let it sit overnight, but everything settled out. I just got this uh, brown color now. So. Now I need to go back and figure out how many, uh, excuse me, how much of this lime I had to put in in order to get it to precipitate. And I'll uh, post that at the end of the flake.